If you're looking to burn body fat and attack those stubborn areas of the body, the lower abs, the love handles, mid back, shredding gel is the perfect product for you. I sh** you not. This guy, who is the vice president of generic supplement company, is making these statements and selling this shredding gel whilst wearing a t-shirt that says integrity. Can we please take a moment to appreciate the glory and irony of that scenario? In addition to this guy, who I showed in a previous video, doing this on Instagram whilst wearing a t-shirt that said virus. Ladies and gentlemen, if there is proof that life is a simulation, there it is. Take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. I do, however, love the fact that when you put the word Instagram into Microsoft Word, that red line appears. Suggested use, massage into trouble areas, which at this point would be my eyeballs. You may also like, what would Keanu do? This, this is what he would do. And so the context of this video is to analyze some six pack hacks, which are simply ineffective or plain silliness. I am incensed. Balls. The point is then to emphasize that if a six pack is your goal and your goals are personal to you, there is more to a six pack than just the visual aesthetic. And I'm going to discuss the function of the core muscles in the body and the role that they play, not just for looking good on the beach and impressing the sand. Come on, come on. And also this video is not a judgment on the body composition of the people that I show. Interestingly, many of the products that I will show you use stock footage of certain people. So they have no real affiliation to that specific product at all. In other cases, there are actual fitness models and influentials who are affiliated to these products and have literally sold their soul for straight cash money. Ooh, those dollar dollar bills. And so when you think about the six pack, of course, it heavily relates to your body fat percentage. In order to see the abs, you have to have a relatively low amount of body fat. And the actual body fat percentage to show a six pack or a four pack varies between people. And so there's no set number. However, if you're at around 10% or below, you're most likely going to have a visual six pack. And importantly, six packs are also a prerequisite for appearing in the music video, Mysterious Girl. Ooh, the 90s. However, more importantly, we can think of the core muscles as not just an aesthetic, but playing a vital role in the movements of the body. The core muscles involving the rectus abdominis, the transverse abdominis, the internal and external obliques. Spare a thought for the external obliques who are not allowed inside. And these core muscles are essentially stabilizer muscles in some scenarios. They can also be direct to certain movements in other scenarios, such as contralateral rotation, trunk flexion. And of course, they are vital to your compound movement movements in the gym, not just bowel movements, where your rectus abdominis also plays a key role. But in terms of maintaining a strong mechanical position, for example, through a barbell back squat, the ability to have a strong core is vital to this, which could also prevent you from being in poor mechanical positions under external load, which could relate to you avoiding unnecessary injury, for example. Dear this community, don't tell me you're not tempted by a cream that can deliver you a male dog waste what you've always wanted for Christmas. Easy Brian, easy Brian. Or perhaps the even more important fitness concept of the mermaid line. And it's important to note that it's not just the traditional abdominal muscles which make up the core, that word the core. We should really consider other muscles of the torso which act on stabilizing the spine, for example, as being part of the core. For example, the powerful back muscles, build that brick house. And having control of your core and strengthening your core muscles can help you with distal movements, distal being away from the center line of your body. And if you think about resistance training in the gym, even something as simple as a bicep curl or a lateral raise, again, having this posture, having a strong core and being able to control the center of your body whilst you're working movements which go away from your body is very, very important. And then we can relate this to other practices such as yoga and mobility work to help with the posture, to help with being able to control and contract and strengthen your core muscles. We can then also think about perhaps mind to muscle connection in your training, whatever your training may be, because that will be specific to you. When you are working through the movements in your training, what role are these core muscles playing? Slimming cream for lazy people. I would read the rest of this, but I'm too lazy. And so the rectus abdominis was not a gladiator train down ludus. Indeed, that is what we think of as the visual six pack or indeed an eight pack. And the transverse abdominis, which is deeper within your body, 
body that you can't visually see, which is really you can think of as an internal biological weight belt, which helps to stabilize your lower back and your pelvis. And the obliques more specifically, which work on movements such as side flexion and contralateral rotation. And so your core muscles perform key roles in specific movements, as well as performing stabilizing roles in other movements. And essentially, it's very hard to think of any resistance work using an external load where you're not involving these muscles in some capacity. And so when you think of it like that, when you think of these muscles in that manner, it makes these six pack creams even more ridiculous. Egyptian magic is Mo Salah, not this. May support spot fat reduction, asterisk. Clinically proven ingredients, asterisk. Heat activated thermogenic, asterisk. Formulated for men and women. Oh, that is true. The only factual statement is they are peddling this trash to men and women in three languages. <laughs> So very sadly, I invented a failed fat loss cream with another guy. We didn't get the rub. Also, unfortunately, the business relationship did break down. We couldn't gel. And so actually, in reality, the aesthetic of the abs are just a tiny factor of what they actually are. And they play a vital role in your body. They are literally at the center of your body. And so hack number one, the six pack cream or gel. Don't worry, I've watched every Jimmy Carr special. I'm ready for this one. To be fair, you'd probably have to live in the Ice Age to believe this one. Having said that, little humans who watch the Ice Age and believe these cartoon characters in their fantasy world to be real still laugh at this product. Long lasting and effective without bounce. I think these shysters are confused. They think they're selling a shampoo, which I clearly have an intricate knowledge of. Bold acceptance. This is exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, we're officially upgrading to the eight pack cream. In case a six pack cream was not enough, you can now waste your money on two extra packs. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, and then Floyd Mayweather's weight loss cream, which is about as believable as his last fight. <coughs> I pulled no punches with that statement. And then we have stuff like six pack surgeries where you have different forms of liposuction, for example, and contouring where they insert a metal tube into the abdominal area and eviscerate fat. Can't see a downside to that, which of course is ridiculous because any surgery carries risk. And when it's a surgery like this for pure vanity and aesthetics, where you could achieve this through consistent training and nutrition over time, which of course is harder, it makes no sense. But in addition, just performing this hack, yes, this will short term create some sort of visual aesthetic but if your lifestyle is not conducive with that low level of body fat over time, this aesthetic ain't gonna last. And so what I would like from you is any other sort of six pack hacks that you've seen on social media or around, please let me know below. I do want a good giggle. And just a disclaimer, I was recently on the Every Damn Day Fitness channel doing a live chat with Alan and his wife, Crystal. Yeah, before? Because I say the words, you know, about a thousand times. Oops. Have you ever made a video where you like wish you could take it back? Like you gave advice, you're like, fuck. M multiple times, multiple times. <laughs> it, it, but see, that's the interesting thing. So, and also before I go, I'd like to address this comment from my last video. If you have been following this channel for a while, there's a very serious point I need to address. I've been making a ridiculous amount of that's what she said jokes. The that's what she said is so old and tired, man. Let that element school joke die, dude. And so the real answer would be, I know it's cliched and cringeworthy, and that's why I do it. I purposely make bad jokes because that is the joke, the person making the bad joke, and then the reaction on camera. Now that would have been the real answer, but I thought this would be more appropriate. After I publish videos, I like to read the comments and interact, and I want to take this opportunity to thank people who comment and give their input on videos. And sometimes people will be very naughty and cheeky and share other profiles for, for me to look at. And I've been hearing a lot about this guy. It's that time again. Instavirus News. And he wants a commercial, so here it is. No doubting the guy is elite at handstands, has a great amount of strength in his upper body. I want to ask you a bunch of questions. I want to have them answered immediately. But I just want to put this out there for you. And here are some of his clips from his Instagram page where he's using handstands in a traditional gym setting and outside what could go wrong. And so my input would be for someone that's so clearly elite at this specific movement, he could dedicate his page to teaching the handstand perhaps in a, in a more traditional and boring way. Of course, he can have fun with it. But this sort of stuff is risking injury to himself and others who can watch what he is doing.
It's that time again. Instavirus News. And so I'm James Linker. This is the Shredded Sports Science. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon.